Hello, my name is Martin Perez, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Grails and how to mix it with Redis and with Comet D to create a really cool application that is able to drive your web browser from your phone. Now, uh, the idea, the original idea from this application comes from my colleague Mark Head that actually he posted on Tropos blog a post showing how to do this same thing but using different technologies. He was using Node.js, Socket.io and he was also using a PHP support in Tropos scripting API. So now this is Mark's original architecture where Tropo is listening for user commands from the phone and sends those commands to Redis. We are using uh, publish subscribe support in Redis that basically you can publish stuff to the database and then you can have a subscriber that is listening to uh, the stuff from that channel in the database so in this case uh, in mark's case the subscriber is node uh, and node is listening for commands from tropo and when a command uh, is received uh, what node does is send those commands uh, via push to socket.io, well, with socket.io to, to the browser, to the actual user's browser. So if someone at Tropo says red, uh, Tropo publishes that to the Redis publish subscribe channel, and the node uh, listen, that is listening to that channel gets the color red and sends that to the browser via socket.io. Okay, so as I wanted to use Grails and as I wanted to use the Grails web API, I did have to change slightly the architecture. The idea is the same. At the left, we have a web API application that is uh, pushing colors. And then we still have the Redis instance, Redis to go. And finally, we have a Grail subscriber that is listening to Redis. And that subscriber is pushing the contents to the user's browser, but via comment D. Uh, all right, if you want to learn more about who uh, about how to set up your Redis instance, uh, you can basically go to the, the blog post and it's very it's very good explained by by Mark. And yeah, I'll show you the, so the source code of my example. So basically, uh, the core of the application is the Tropo controller. The Tropo controller is the part that is listening to the user commands. And if we zoom here, what we do is first we parse the JSON and we build, we create our builder variable. This is the core of the Tropos uh, Grails web API. And now we check if the request was a session from Tropo. In that case, we know that it's the first call because Tropo sends you a session uh, JSON request and then we will basically welcome the user. Otherwise, if what we receive is a result JSON request, we know that there, there is a color there, it's something that the user has uh, spoken to, and there has to be a color inside. Uh, we check if the color is a stop. If it's a stop, what we do is we tell the Tropos Grails web API to hang up, and otherwise, okay, if there is a color, what we do is send the color to Redis and we ask the question. So we keep asking the question continuously in a loop. So you see, because when everything is right, we keep redirecting to, to the same to the same place to index, which is the same action. So this creates the effect of having a loop. So finally we render the response. So as you see, it's it's a quite simple it's a quite simple controller, a quite simple uh, Grails web API based uh, Trop application. And now I'll show you the Redis service. The Redis service is very simple. It's using the Jedis uh, library. You need to install Redis Grails plugin for this to work. And once you have uh, the Redis plugin installed, basically what you can do is a uh, new Jedis that's going to connect to our Redis to go instance. And then, yeah, connect and you authenticate uh, in your instance using your password and finally you publish the color to this channel the tropo.color uh, channel now 
I've got another service here. This is the Vajeox service that basically is going to do the comment D channel. Uh, this service has an init method. The init method is being involved from the conf, from the bootstrap. Okay, so here in bootstrap you can find the init. So we are initializing our, our service. Let me go now to the Vajeox. Now, so on Grails startup, this code is going to be executed. So what we do is basically we create a, a Vajuk session and we prepare as a, a comment D channel, in this case Redis. Now the next thing we do is we create the consumer. So we open a connection co with Jedis and we create a listener. Now the listener basically is waiting for messages. So if we find a message in that channel, in tropo.color, we publish to the comment D channel, right? So this to this, basically this channel, and we are publishing the value, yeah. Okay, and and we are subscribing here. This is the part that subscribes to the Jedis channel. So it subscribes this listener to the tropo.color. Uh, now I'm, I'm launching this on a different thread because uh, the subscribe operation in Jadis is a blocking operation so mm, you need to to basically get that out of the uh, starting loop from Grails otherwise you get blocked and that is it it's actually very few lines of code uh, it, it's quite simple as well and it, it's very powerful I'll show you now the client the client side and uh, we need to go to the actual view where are you and do -do. I do have this I don't remember where I see this in Grails app views where are the views here yeah here okay so the index JSP the, sorry the G index GSP here we are. So what we use is comment D. Okay, so we've got here the comment D libraries. And this is the channel Redis, the comment D channel. Now we've got this callback. This callback is going to change the background color of the browser. Uh, we are connecting connecting to the comet D servlet, we do the handshake and we subscribe to that comet D channel. And that is it. And this is to use the CSS. And yeah, so it's pretty simple. So this part. So let's let's summarize everything. We've got here the the GSP application, so the HTML, that basically there is some JavaScript here that listens to the comment D channel for colors. Now we've got this Vajux service that opens the comment D channel and at the same time, so this part opens the comment D channel and this part uh, listens to the actual Redis channel, to the actual instance on Redis to go and this part is the callback is being executed each time something is pushed to the Redis to go instance. So what we do is we publish that value to the comment D channel, right? And finally, there is the tropo side of things. The tropo side of things listens for uh, orders from the user and basically pushes those orders to the Redis channel to the Redis channel in our Redis to go instance. So it's very few uh, classes, very few lines of code, but as you can see, uh, there is loads of concepts here. So it's quite a complex application uh, in very, very few lines, quite a powerful application. So I'll show you how it works. And what I've got here is Basically, this page is now listening to the is now listening to the comment D channel, 
and now what I'm going to do is call my application from Skype so it's here and I've got this phone number pointing to the application so I'm going to call the application Welcome to the Reducing Socket I.O. test Say the color you want to see When done, say stop Blue Say the color you want to see When done, say stop Green Say the color you want to see. When done, say stop. Yellow. Say the color you want to see. When done, say stop. White. Say the color you want to see. When done, say stop. Stop. And that's it. And that is really cool. I, I think it's really cool. So you get a fully uh, voice enabled Rails application that also is listening to Redis, is implementing the publish subscribe method and is pushing that uh, those commands to the browser uh, through comment D. So, uh, I mean, it's so cool that you can get a phone number called to an actual physical phone and uh, give orders to a browser that is elsewhere or to multiple browsers at the same time as Mark was saying in the original post, there is so many cool applications to this technology that, well, it, it's, really, it's really awesome. I really hope you like it, and let me know what you think. Thank you.